Chia, ladies and gentlemen, uh, counterproductive podcast. This is a, a special podcast, extra stuff for our patrons. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching it a week late. And if you don't want to be a week late, then go to and use a condom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. Uh, go to patreon.com slash counterproductive. We have a special guest in the building. Uh, Rory Campbell is with me today. What? what? And then. Um, but we don't care about that. Yeah, yeah. too old to be here. Mercy right? now. Quite honestly. Uh, uh, <laughs> on the road. Uh, coming to us from L.A. by way of Seattle and uh, Chino. <laughs> All right, so I guess you sound I, like you weren't even sure. About I don't have. That's don't actually ha the correct pronunciation of Chino is fucking Chino. Chino? Yeah, I think yeah. There's an no. Ad. I just I, I I forget that people like care about where they're from or their hometowns. And yeah, like proud of. I it forgot I was happens. from Seattle until that's you what said happens it. when you go to L.A. You forget all about. You're like where I'm where from, was I a, from a cultureless mole on East Los Angeles. <laughs> you're from where cows die. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. And okay. Drive past their corpses on the way to elementary school. <laughs> um, and you guys are the host of the. Now, if you really want to see where cows die, come to our show at the Pizza Factory tonight <laughs> yes. and watch Keith set. Oh, hey that's hurtful. Oh shit. Well, we're up against uh, Game of Thrones tonight. Too. Oh my god. I like our chances, guys. Oh, you guys we're, were out last we're night. Super fucked. You guys were out last night with the fucking with the, uh, with the Mayweather McGregor. fight. Yeah. yeah, there were actually people at the show though. Yeah, uh, which was surprising. Was yeah. yeah, all all the all the broke people that were like, I'm not paying a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. No what, our our meme uh, one the one meme boys fan his girlfriend that came out. They were like, uh, Yeah, we live in a trailer park, and I got this shirt at Ross, so you could spray paint your logo on it. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, yeah, you don't have cable yeah. or a, a loved one to provide you an HBO Go password. I think our attendance is safe. Yeah, yeah. When, when you appeal to people with no hope, it really makes sure they're going to show up to your show. Yeah, <laughs> I've been really throwing out there. I'm like, After Thrones, before Rick and Morty, After Thrones. Right in the park. Before Rick and Marty. We can get right in there in that little 8 o'clock. You can pocket. just have a nonstop entertainment fuck fest. Yeah, yeah. you could go nuts, man. <laughs> you could really fucking. You should have made another flyer that was like a watch party. Yeah, fucking A. In the parking room. lot. Oh, that would have been off hilarious. My, off my and I, just, iPad. I know nothing about Game of Thrones, and I'm just like, <laughs> just yeah, I don't know. This guy with the beard seems pissed. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think they got dragons or whatever. I think he lives here and he do does like battle rapping. I don't totally know. <laughs> Keys, do Keith's friend. Do you guys watch that shit? Do you watch that shit? Game of Game Thrones? Of Thrones? No. Yeah. No, I don't. You love that shit, right? Yeah, I love it. We had, a, we had, a, we we had an argument, argument on this. what's better, Sopranos or Game of Thrones. And I was like, I, like, like, I didn't watch either, but Game so of I don't Thrones. see them saying Sopranos. Game yeah. of Thrones is Sopranos with dragons. That's that's what I'm saying. They do all the same shit. They do all the fucking and fighting and no, all it's of that. Not, and they got dragons too. It's not James Gandolfini just breathing heavily while he tries to get on top it's of the It's James uh, Gandolfini. Oh, Am I right, everybody? Ba -ba 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 -ba. God fucking damn it. That's Dude, right. Let's save that fire. I'm like the Gentile Soul Con up in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You guys Soul Con <laughs> fans? Yeah, man, I, I battled Soul Con. Real? No, sh you know what? I fucking remember seeing that now. Yeah, I feel yeah. like an asshole. No, you know what? We actually did a bunch of two-on-twos together, too. So we were a team. In a I, I remember well. watching that. It's all fucking coming back to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, it, we lost a lot. We, uh, like, we usually lost. You guys were fun to watch, we though. Were, we were fun to watch, but yeah, we were I not a winning team. Yeah, I went through and watched all those. <laughs> was, the, was your battle the one where he said that you won the last round and he took it to overtime and did a freestyle, or was that someone else? I'm That's somebody of? else. That's okay. somebody else. Um... Because oh, I, I remember seeing that and be, being being very impressed with that move. I did a bunch of Jew jokes, and I was like, uh, you know, your favorite X Men is Jubilee, your favorite candy is Juju Bees, and and like it be like, yeah, it became a theme. And if you watch Soul Con battles, everyone does that same thing to them. They find like different Little Jew shot. things. There's that to throw I, who is the fucking guy where he dropped that line? You want to be the baddest? You want to be the can uh, the champ? But instead, you're getting burned like my people at the camps. Yeah. And oh, then everybody shit. went ape shit for twelve minutes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, that guy was like, well, you, your glasses are gay. And oh, so man. is your face. Yeah, and then it was just I'm like, I'm oh, so fuck, glad man. that I didn't have to stand in front of that bar. You know what I mean? There's bars that you just don't want to stand in front of, and ones that are about like, you know, like powerful, like empowering Holocaust bars. You don't want to be a part of. That. <laughs> no, there's you know there's really I mean? no get out of jail free card with that. So you're just like, well, I guess I just kind of. <laughs> yeah, no one's rooting against the Holocaust survivor. Okay, yeah. let's really hope that these people hate flannel shirts. Uh, <laughs> How about the Caddy Ron battle, the A.B. Hoggish one? Like the, the one where he went up against Madness and that and he in that second verse and he was just like, ah, f OK, I might be fat, but you suck. Uh, Florida is <laughs> cool. Go to hell. And everyone was like, OK, OK. All right. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, that's it. Dude, that's sometimes, man, those moments are the worst, too. Like, I mean, you guys have I don't know. Everyone's had bad times on stage, but it's different when the audience is surrounding you. There's mm. another dude that's in front of you that's like. 
taking just the ultimate pleasure in your failure. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? And, and, and everybody else, too, is really, it's like, because someone's got to die for a battle to be good. You oh, just, yeah. Uh, you don't want to be the one that's fucking dying. No, you know? totally. Well, I like, when, like when people give you shit for, uh, for teasing somebody or, or you know, whatever. And I'm like, you, you realize that I get made fun of for a living. You know, yeah, like it's literally our job. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Uh, oh, if we, you can't take it. I was like, well, if you <laughs> <laughs> did, you guys, did, so you guys didn't uh, watch the McGregor Mayweather fight at all? Did you catch any aftermath of the I, fight? At I all? caught a couple. I, I watched clips some clips. Yeah. Of it. yeah, was it like? Uh, was it what you expected it to be? Uh, you know yeah, I mean? it was way like, more entertaining than I expected. It, it was to be, pretty to be good. Honest. It did kind of seem like, oh, that guy who doesn't box uh, got fucked up by a boxer. Like that was yeah. man. Couldn't have said it better myself, guys. <laughs> it's really one of those things like where everyone's online today trying to like be like, well, you know, he did really good. And it's like, well, and they're counting the punches like he landed more punches than Pacquiao. And like, bro, you don't fucking count the punches if they stop the fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it could be one to fucking 111 punches. Yeah, but only one takes one. Like, yeah. yeah. He's just they're not. He, they're, he's not an interesting guy to watch fight like he wins like, you know, a fight like it's. The only analogy I can think of is Yu-Gi-Oh! Base, so I'll just spare you. There you go. No, I'm, you, I'm with it, bro. We have a very animated. <laughs> you know, it's like if you play trading, <laughs> I had trading card games. On, cool. It's like a fucking idea. like a burn deck where it's just <laughs> nothing. You stall for it's just like a, someone who's really boring strategy that always yeah. wins. There's a boxer named Chad Lomachenko, and he's just this tiny little Eastern European dude who f like punches like Dragon Ball Z. Like yeah. he's just like super quick. I like watching that guy fight. I just, yeah. I'll, I'll fucking check that guy out on YouTube, but. Like he, he just it's a war of attrition. He just like, yeah, I'm going to wait and then yeah. just like win. And then I, I'm going to get a bunch of money and people will call me the goat on Twitter. I see the argument on both sides. Right. I see that like, OK, you're if the goal in boxing is to hit the other guy and then not get hit. If that guy does it better Some than fucking anybody. Some damn fine sports analysis. Yeah, he does that. if that's it. If that's it, you're supposed to tag the guy, and then you're not supposed to get hit. Nobody does that shit better than Mayweather. So he's the best, right? But it's like it's yeah, you're, like you said, it's defensive boxing. Nobody wants to watch twelve rounds right. of defensive boxing. Like I understand if that's interesting if you're like a fighting fan, but I mean, like I don't know. I'm just a guy that likes to see people beat the shit out of each other. So yeah. Yeah. no, I get that. It's like it, when when they break down a, a football play and they're talking about one like. 15 second play for fucking five minutes and shit and i i just i don't get it man all i saw was the guy grab the ball and he fucking run you know same thing with boxing is like i'm looking for it's like punches that land let's and watch yeah a, i want to see something cool happen not like oh here's let's watch a war movie is. about a siege and it's like wow these people are, are running out of grain over the course of this, <laughs> this two hour fucking film crazy, man. <laughs> yeah i'm like okay <laughs> yes the, starve, man. the, the, man. the, uh, the other douchebag got tired and then the other douchebag uh, tipped him over like <laughs> okay, all right <laughs> fine yeah, it's that's a hundred dollars well spent we didn't even I, I I didn't even get to the uh, proper introduction. You guys are the host of the Mean Boys podcast. That's us. Is man. that two of you guys? Are a third host? Uh, well, yeah, we our got buddy a, Tom Goss is uh, sort of the unofficial third Mean Boy. Just rotating. Yeah, we have hella like unofficial people. Sometimes we got five <laughs> sitting here. Everything got, about your a, compound <laughs> here screams unofficial. <laughs> we got a coke guy, a murder guy. Yeah, 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 we got a know, dude that does gotta, body gotta, work for gotta, the cheap. We got a murder you for coke guy. We got yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. The unofficial guys, they, they do the good work. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, uh, your podcast is, as uh, I was reading it, described a, a scripted. Oh, there's a bunch of very descriptive words. Uh, <laughs> that's usually <laughs> non monetizable, <laughs> words, are. Non -monetizable I words. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. Those, those are called adjectives. You know, <laughs> 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 pronouns. You know, there's some commas in there. No, but I mean, uh, uh, you guys uh, are. It's a scripted comedy podcast it's it's not like we do like a radio play every week but it's kind of like a late night show where there, we have segments that are more so jumping off points so we, we start the show with some jokes about what's going on in the news we fuck around middle segment we do kind of like kind of like a funny version of like jay leno's headlines where we do yeah you know, we, some, and we have a bunch of different ones different we, do, ones like, we rotate out we play a game called uh porn comment or yelp review where we go through porn hub <laughs> and yelp and we pull out weird shit and try and figure out if it's what it's a review of that yeah, is fun and harder do, than you think yeah we do yeah, a game, yeah we do a game called did they die where we just read stories about people who get in crazy accidents and then we have to figure out if they died or not oh wow and yeah, i, so I wish that like something that, that comes up in that show as a point of interest is like okay what ethnicity is this person and i wish this wasn't gonna <laughs> Factor into my <laughs> analysis, wow. but sadly, I in the know. broken America that we live in today, it's I'm going like, to need oh, to know. Chinese lady, this is a real wild card. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, how many do you turn around, like in a week? What, what do you do? Like we a do month? one a week, we, but actually, oh, we just set our first Patreon goal, so we're going to be doing a uh, five a month. So we'll probably do it on like the second Thursday oh, or something yeah. like that. So, yeah, it comes out every Tuesday. Yeah, we've had and then some, we do uh, like sketches and shit. Yeah, know? we do sketches and like characters and stuff. So if you ever wanted to hear Ash Ketchum get radicalized into ISIS, I mean, <laughs> boy, do we have the podcast for you. Holy shit. So that, how long does it take you guys to 
put a podcast together. You know what I mean? Like I'm wrapping my head around the process of preparing for these things beyond like putting it's, up. It's probably beer, that, well, you're, like, you're like, hoping for. Well, yeah, 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 but you're you're a human being yeah, yeah. that is made of weed, oh, so yeah. I assume any ambition to you is frightening. You're, you're oh, just yeah. like the Jack Link Sasquatch, like with an EBT <laughs> card, basically. The Grasquatch. Yeah. EBT card. <laughs> we have EBT, EBT cards, cards in our wallet. We're allowed to say yeah. that. Yeah, it's okay. No, it, they're uh, mean boys. This I, is what happens. Exactly. Exactly. Mean, mean boys. Like, trade. This is copy. great. I didn't like, think it was going to be. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't think it would be. You, you know, there are some fat guy, <laughs> tall guy duos you don't want to stand in front of. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss oh, Holocaust shit. denying fat guy talking. No, I'm kidding. Um, look, look, take a look at the soil samples, guys. They speak oh, for themselves. God. No, I'm kidding. You guys uh, both uh, do the roast battles at the store? We do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And have you guys done uh, two on two before? <laughs> uh, we, we did once. We did one recently yeah, with yeah. Uh, with Frank Castillo. And, oh, wow. Uh, and his boy Jay Light. And holy shit, did it not go well. Oh, every, Who did it not go well for? Everybody. everybody. Oh, no everybody. shit. It was just like a, a every, was shit the bed show? Well, what? yeah, we got up there and it was like, number one, we hadn't discussed like format-wise how it was going to work. Number two... Uh, Frank was impossibly high. <laughs> All right. Number three. That's my guy. Uh, we had like this big elaborate intro that kind of worked. Uh, and then there just weren't enough mics and it was just a jumbled mess. We ended up both. It was it, well, it was just one of these things where it's like a bad idea that you're stuck committing to. And you're like, all right, well, I'm going to put this uh, hairbrush handle on my butt and jerk off. And then instead of being able to be like, oh, this was a bad idea. I should just take this out. It's like you got to keep it up there while you you tell three more jokes and then get <laughs> shit on <laughs> by Mike even... Lawrence for five minutes. Oh, while was fun. A group oh, of shirtless buff dudes does. Oh, no. Prop comedy in front of you to oh, rock yeah. applause. Oh yeah, we had a Wait. bag of shit. Hey guys, been yeah. there. It's, 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 <laughs> oh, I know. I, I wrote the report. Did. You were there. <laughs> you were there. I remember. You did well once. No, yeah, yeah. I had, I had, a, I think I had a, a 15 second moment of glory that was followed by like five minutes of just shame. It's pretty accurate. But you know, <laughs> hey man, I'll tell you what. Not as bad as a previous shame. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I choking in a battle. Woof. I'll take fucking eating a dick in a roast battle over fucking uh, getting stomped. Well, it's because like, well, with the battle, it's like the video still coming out. That's that's the you still that's have, the like, thing. Yeah, like, you it. die tonight, and in a month. Yeah, in a month you die out. every day. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> for a month, man. You know what I mean? Guys go that's through brutal. That shit well, man. like we, lose, if you through. fuck up the pacing of a joke, it's similar to a, like, a, like a rap bar. Like it's. You're you, you're fucked. You really you might be able to get you know seventy percent of the applause if you fucking you know are if able it's to really like fucking adjust good, the rhythm yeah. or whatever. But or, I mean, you, you have to you got to do what I don't know how many bars you typically do in a battle. I know it varies, but I mean, it's like sixteen bars, let's say, of like hitting the cadence correctly and having good timing and not fucking up your words. Like that is an intense amount of precision that you need to have to not get called, you know, gay on YouTube by a bunch of 12 year olds for, for, for the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah. yeah. For, for the foreseeable future. But I will say this, like having done both, it's so like in execution, they're very hard in different ways. Like writing for a roast battle, even though it's such few, like it's so little writing, it's everything has to be so important. You know well, what I you mean? You have three jokes. That's like, it. It's really yeah. narrow. Yeah. Jokes. And really you can't, got, you can't like, like be long winded with the, the jokes. No, you got to have three yeah. just short, quick fucking just right crosses to the face. Or yeah. You're done. And well, yeah, and you could really fuck up a good thing. I've seen people like have a really good joke and then try to add that extra tag. And oh, yeah. Like, oh, I've done it. Shit oh, that same. Up. Yeah. Yeah. More I've only done one. I we did a two on two and we won, so I never want to do it again. You did like a two on two rose battle? Yeah, yeah. yeah just, you know, it's it, oh, you did email if it's not, it's just like if it's just like fucking uh, if it's like if it ain't on URL, it doesn't count, right? If it yeah. ain't a K King of the Dot battle, it doesn't count. So well, I'm like, just saying we don't yeah. talk I'm about roast battles that don't happen yeah. at the store, Rory. <laughs> the process, no, it's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, right, I, I just didn't know if it had happened at the store. That's that's how I am with Tinder. Is wild different though. I went on one Tinder date and we fucked, and I'm like, I'm never using this app again. I'm one for all. Retired. You're one and all. I didn't. Yeah. Well, it didn't you have know, really a good time. Just a Tinder. fucking walk off home run. Yeah, it didn't really. Begin and end uh, the career. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I get it. I pretended to, you know, be interested in hearing about a fucking Attack on Titan for an evening, and then <laughs> <laughs> fucked in a oh, Motel fuck. Six down the street from where I live. So yeah, it's I fine. Like, I like that you're like, yeah, what a nerd. She watches Attack on Titan. Like you didn't try and make a Yu-Gi-Oh reference earlier. <laughs> I didn't try to. I did. I, okay. I know. And I, I, I know. It, I you apologize though, like quickly. After. I apologize before I told. You acknowledge the fact. Yeah. I I couldn't think of a better analogy. Because maybe I didn't come in super uh, prepared for this uh, garage <laughs> yeah. battle rap radio I, how, show. How bad do you think I feel? I didn't even know what it meant. I'm like 55 <laughs> years old. I'm like, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Every what time he about? says Yu-Gi-Oh, I just like tune out and just think about butts for a while because I know it's going to be just a bunch of words I don't recognize. 
Well, There's a lot of I did fans. not come to this humid <laughs> crack house to be disrespected. <laughs> That's what we do in our own humid crack house. <laughs> yeah, I have a place for that. No, there's a lot of our fans that would love nothing more than to swipe right on Tinder and be uh, blessed with a girl that would listen to their Attack on Titan tirade. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. I, sh- I shouldn't complain about my champagne problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I found a little something that I wanted to talk with you guys about because you're fucking uh, comedians and cool. writers. And I thought that this was interesting. I seen this uh, article on Vice and I read it. I read a little bit more about it. Um, there's a comedian. Ah, oh, fuck. Let me grab my phone so I can fucking say this guy's name. Here, I'm going to play you this clip. So watch this clip real fast. Okay. Okay. I mean to watch this anyway. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, you can hear it? Six hundred thousand dollars. I just can't believe it's on Vice. It's getting the same like soundtrack and like tone as like a Ugandan. As like the Nazi documentary. The new street Uh, drug that is turning Greece into an apocalyptic hellscape. Uh, like we, uh, there's one la- lazy writer at Conan, fucking mystery solved. <laughs> well, it seems like what what, what yeah, you fire do that asshole. is you <laughs> find or a just guy. block that asshole. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Well, you can you know open I up know. an incognito window, but yeah, you find a guy with 2,500 Twitter followers, and you're like, well, no one's seeing this, so yeah. Well, it's also such broad comedy. It's like broad topics, so there's going to be at least uh, 10,000 people with the same hack first thought. Well, the fact right? that it happened more more than one time is kind of like, mm. and the the jokes yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. are like they're pretty specific. I don't wording. think it's impossible to come up with that peak care. Joke. The Pete so, Carroll joke yeah. seems like pretty, pretty like parallel thought. Like I could imagine a lot yeah. of people getting to that yeah. one. Yeah. But yeah, the fact that it's multiple times. Hey, I like, was the first one to say Jared is going to be enjoying a different kind of foot long in prison. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so yeah, I know. Huh? Where's those checks, boring. Fallon? So they, uh, I read more on this, and I guess that there was a bunch of jokes. And uh, a judge had dismissed five of the jokes, okay. and three and three of the you jokes are still. You can go. You're no good. <laughs> You're dismissed. So, and that. So that. I like, do like that a judge had to be like, cold and no sack, mm, cold sackless. I'm calling that probable cause. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Like that's yes. that's like to me. Admit the standard of evidence. Uh, where it's sure. it it becomes an interesting argument on both sides. Like, how do you prove? that there's no way you could have wrote these jokes without seeing these tweets or how do you prove well that? I have people do that to me like I just I tweeted something like I put you know when Trump squinted up at the eclipse yeah you know and I, I just took a, I took that picture and I just wrote finally a president that doesn't see color you know and that was a <laughs> silly little joke or whatever and then someone was like they did that on the president show on Comedy Central you gotta do something and I'm like you kind of yeah, do. Stuff. I don't want to fucking. Well, when you, do. I don't think. I think it's. I don't think I'm that special that I'm the only person that can come up. Yeah. with Yeah. Well, and Connor also makes a lot of memes, and then we'll get like you know the fat Jew or George Takei or whatever. We'll swing by and just Re- snake him without, without. Yeah. 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 And a lot of and a lot like George Takei like gave you credit eventually. They, like, they all pretty much all have. They actually but you have they to all go out have. And fight them for it. Well, though. basically, it's, you have to go wait <laughs> until all the traction from the joke has expired, and then they check their email and they're like, oh, okay, oops, and then you know. Yeah. So like basically, the time it would be useful for you to have. Your name on there is passed. Yeah, and what's annoying to me is just like, well, literally, like this is clearly a picture of a cropped tweet. So how about you just type that exact text into Twitter with a couple of fucking boolean operators in there? You know, pay an intern a bag of pocky sticks or whatever, and then fucking, <laughs> you know, d- avoid people c- calling you a joke thief for three months on your timeline. Like I don't know, it's not how that much, fucking difficult. How much do you think of this kind of writing for like these kind of shows, like monologue writing and stuff like that? Is just people directly taking shit from the I don't really I, think well, it much of it or I, any of it I mean well, the thing is, the thing is you think that you think those instances trying, are just like trying to I, 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 I really don't, don't know if you have a mil- if you have a million comics all trying to write a joke about one thing that happened today 
Yeah. Odds are a bunch of them are going to write the, the same, same joke. joke. Yeah, that's I'm saying like it's, like it's very possible that this happened. But also, there are people that just they go and look at everything on the front page of Yahoo News and they write a one liner about it on Twitter, and I that's mean, just what they do. I mean, day. we pretty much do you that know? for the opening segment of our podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. we exactly. go through and find news stories and we write one liner. Usually, I add like genital mutilation. Or yeah, that's something, what I was going to so say. People can't take yeah, it. Yeah, an abortion joke. Yeah, it's not going to be. We intentionally go darker and weirder just because it's like, oh, these are the jokes you won't see on TV, but like. You know, that's it, my way of watermarking it. Is I I just yeah, add, make it totally it's the dead baby watermark. Add, add anal bleaching or yeah, something. Yeah, the secret so. ingredient is piss. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll never tell. <laughs> How often do you guys see that? Like at the store, or just in like, do people reacting to people like I, I fucking. This guy's t- doing my joke from fucking I, Twitter. This I today. feel like my Instagram. I've had people straight up tell a joke that I know they saw me do. Uh, Same. And like I, the thing is, I usually just take it as like Fuck. subliminal. Fucking, I'm like, all right, you probably just forgot that you up, heard. You yeah, so because I've yeah. done that too on accident, and Same. you know, and it's like I was just like, hey, have a conversation with like an adult, and you're not gonna have a problem. Is yeah. usually how yeah. it fucking pans out. But you gotta stop them for sure. You, I, I think you mention it. Yeah, yeah, you have a conversation. I, well, I think it depends it. too if it's like. <laughs> it's like that's it's my like, joke, bro. It's like comedy I, prison. You know if they is, take I, your uh, first joke, they'll just keep taking your. Jokes. I've had somebody. They'll take show up with a <laughs> pad. <and> got <laughs> any jokes, buddy? I've they'll had be wearing somebody. your shoes. Yo, your What's first up, Connor. Your, your first day in stand up, you got to go steal the biggest, <laughs> baddest guy's jokes. <laughs> Judd Apatow, hold my pocket. <laughs> hold my pocket, Judd. <laughs> you got to walk hold up it. on stage and be like, "Get her done." <laughs> yeah, wow, I, tra- fuck, I traded Ron White for a saw I saw. I saw a thing that the "Get her done" guy, like someone just found out that that guy's not like really. That's not his persona. They were like outraged. Someone's yelling your name. Uh, Everybody, okay. keep talking. I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, What's the oh, there uh, the uh, Dan guy. Whitney. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, just yeah. like a normal dude. That wasn't yeah. like a secret. You know, no, that's what I saw. But he's I saw not fucking someone, Batman. I saw someone like I knew and respected. Be like, this is crazy. Wait, has anyone ever seen Dan <laughs> like, Whitney? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, why would you the give a shit one. now? Larry the Cable Guy Mania Maybe it was, his, it was probably his publicist. Like, we got to get it hot again. You're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> what I love is like, that guy like still Chris has his own. What, what, he has yeah, his what's his fucking <laughs> Chris Gaines? What's to, uh, Who's Chris Gaines? He Who's was the oh, alter ego of... Uh, Chris Gaines was Garth Brooks's Garth Brooks. alter ego. He decided he was going to put out like a weird, like, adult contemporary And he looked like Trent album. Reznor if he yeah. loved Doritos. I'm going to show you a picture. It's pretty funny. Oh, no. And he did a whole album. So this is like a fat white guy, Sasha Fierce, is basically what Pretty much. just like him yeah, that's Garth Brooks' Yo. alter ego, Chris Gaines. Oh, Chris Gaines, get out everybody. of it. Oh, dear. That's yeah, yeah. It, awesome. It, 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 There's it, no it, way he didn't do big budget videos, too. Yeah, and he for sure looks like just like a failed Vegas street magician. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's a real fucking bomber. Chris Dangle. <laughs> real professional, guys. It was good. We real filled it. We covered the air, man. Yeah, yeah. We talked about Chris Gaines. Bro, all the best shit happens on my podcast when I have to leave because my dog is like barking at someone at the door. Or something <laughs> like that. I'll come back and some real magic is happening. You yeah, know? you have serious. a legitimate like guard dog, by the way. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a scary ass dog. It's no, it's little dog, too because it wants to fight. It like lulls you into <laughs> yeah. thinking it doesn't, then it fucking hits you. Yeah, surprise, yeah. motherfucker. You always got to be scared of the little ones, the scrappy yeah. ones. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, I look on uh, fucking w- like I look it's it's discouraging on the Internet sometimes how fucking funny every tweet or every meme is. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I can see how easy it is to be discouraged as a writer who has to come up with shit day after day. And you're like, man, these memes are fucking killing me. Maybe I'll just write down these fucking memes. I you lost, know what I mean? I and then you like you said, you look and you go, oh, this guy's got twenty five hundred fucking followers. Well, no I, yeah. see this shit. Like, I, I don't know. I, I like it. Like, I mean, a lot of I know a lot of comedians would complain about memes or whatever. But it's like. You know, there's a funny picture and you think of a caption and then and then that's not like I don't think that's killing comedy, nor is it taking enough of my creative energy that I'm not going to do something more nuanced and complex. You know, it's like, yeah, this guy looks like X, Y, blah, 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 fart, you know, and then move on. My reaction was always kind of been like, okay, like I'm just going to write more internally. Like I'm going to write more stuff about me. And I'm like, okay, rather than write like a fun pun about a thing that happened write about how I'm perceiving the thing that happened and, yeah. like, how it's affecting my life. And also, like, you can't monetize, like, the way someone looks stupid in a picture. There's not, like, you know... No, any, yeah, yeah, Unless yeah, I yeah, want to yeah. start my own fucking meme account and, like, just hashtag everything and follow for follow a bunch of 12 year olds, which sounds yeah, like yeah. hell. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'll just make it, like, when, you know... Who gives a fuck? You might get four followers out of a good one, like... Yeah. I, th- I At the end of the day, like, it's not... I don't I don't mean that it's like I get discouraged. I'm as much I'm a huge fan of that shit too and 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 
Oh, I mean, I, if you ever go on black people Twitter on Reddit, it's fucking hilarious. It's like, yeah. it's just, it, 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 it's, it's like there's no beating that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. that the the internet is winning every day with with uh, all these little fucking shit. And how do you value that 600k? Do you think that that's like that's where it gets weird? That's like, a what, wacky are, we, what are we talking about here? How does like, that? that? How does that like those? Oh, joke? I feel like that's like the yearly budget for Conan you know, on TBS. Know. <laughs> no, what they should do is give that guy one day's like writer's pay, like for one they, day. Like here's forty five dollars. Why don't you they hire that fucking dude as a writer? They that's like what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, that'd be a little awkward around the kitchen where it's like, uh, <laughs> hey, Greg, I, I do get the job. Well, you yeah, stole but, my joke. I yeah, couldn't but, help but notice my yogurt is gone from the refrigerator. If, if, I'm, if I'm that judge and I want to pull ah. some wacky bullshit, that's what I do. I'm just like, yeah, this guy gets to work, but he works with the guy who stole his job. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, judge yeah, from, yeah. Uh, I don't know, a Simpsons episode. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, cut yeah, the baby yeah. in half. We're going to cut the joke in half. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoever, whoever cries most is your right. joke. Yeah, do you, you think that uh, the guy's going to get the money? No, no, it's uh, not, not six hundred thousand. It's no, a bit no well, justice I, in the world. I mean, well, here's the thing though. Sometimes you see with like songs and stuff that are like similar, that are less similar than that. Yeah, they, they get paid, but, get but paid. you could prove that that song would make that kind of money, or 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 in the case, usually it already but, has well, made that money, and they're trying to pull my money guess out of is it. that you could extrapolate from like the advertising Conan oh, gets for one and do, day, for one episode and do some kind of okay. like yeah. And I'm sure that there, are, I'm sure six hundred thousand oh. is like oh. the high end okay. of what they. Could I just don't understand how that equates to the damages to that fucking dude. Like, how did that dude's get Life get damaged to the tune of six hundred. Well, I think it's more like you know fuck you. I mean? You robbed me. No, well, he took me that content turned, and they used know. it to yeah. sell like. And a they made six hundred k off those three fucking jokes, Maybe, man. I don't like think he so. Said, well, no, 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 they didn't. But like, yeah. I think it's also like a penalization. Like, hey, you dicked me, so, now so I want okay. I'm, yeah, I'm going to yeah, start yeah. doing a thing where I start a Twitter account and I just uh, write at every possible joke you could do. Like, until, like, like people who register a website. To yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to do with jokes. I'm like, hey, motherfucker, back in 1993 when you guys were laughing at the internet, I got sex.com, I got yeah. fuck.biz, <laughs> all right, I got cum.org and .net. Oh, like, man. oh, if we could only go back. Cum.org. Yeah, that, that would be <laughs> like the move. I got cum.org. <laughs> if this was a valuable like thing, if this worked out for dude to, you know, even if he got a, a sixth of that or if he got 100K, that would just be the move. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm right? all the clock jokes, for like East Coast fucking, time. Well, here's like the other thing. You know what else the guy got, whether or not he gets that money? Oh, his name. His is all name as a yeah. great writer uh, on fucking Vice, and yeah. it's getting shared everywhere. So, I mean, that guy already kind of won. I mean, as a guy who's been on George Takei's Facebook page, I mean, I appreciate, you know, this, <laughs> it's alluring. Well, I mean, that, and that's true. I mean, the, 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 intoxicating. Yeah, the I, mean, I mean, the number that you reach for is a little crazy, but just the idea right. of like, yeah, it's hard to get fucking traction and like recognize as a writer because there's so many like, you're like, oh, these jokes are all great on the internet, but nobody gives a shit where they come from. Like, yeah. We lost the idea of a writer. It's oh, 100%. Because the internet has become this like nameless content. I never world, look so. at who. Well, people don't really care them. unless they already know who you are. Yeah. And that's what fucking blows. Like, that's. As someone who no one knows who I am. So, Most so, of the, so you're saying. Several people in this room yeah. know who you are. I met him today, man. Just yeah, I met him like an hour door. ago, dude. He seems cool. He's got a nice shirt. <laughs> this didn't have to get as weird as it did. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know. You just like frosted over. All no, right. I, I, I was I, uncomfortable with love. It was I, weird. I, <laughs> Look, he got. Like, well, no, I mean, I'm like, because <laughs> if you see someone like, you know, if like Pat Oswalt or whatever writes a joke, people are like, whoa, that's the guy. I used to see him on Best Week Ever, and then he was the cop on Parks and Rec or blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, but if it's just like some guy like me where it's like, okay, I mean, several people care about my ISIS podcast, but I mean, <laughs> it's not enough to form some societal collective unconscious where they're going to, you know, rally the torches and pitchforks for me. So it's yeah. kind of like, yeah, well, this he lady might, has more followers. Might be some, so uh, fuck pushback, though, with this guy, like blacklisting. Like, you don't want to be in the writer's room with a guy who sued Kona for 600000 for his But do you want to be in the writer's room with the guy who stole no, neither. his fucking work? No, neither. Yeah, neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the two people at your Did fucking that... office that are yelling at each other. They're I don't even want to know assholes. the guy's name because I might know him. That would be a bummer. Oh, that's fucking. Oh, what the the comedians <laughs> or the the uh, the writer, the one who got his. Let, let's stolen. see how many now followers that guy has now. Let's see what the vice bump was. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Because look, it was not only was it. On, it was like twenty five hundred in the screen cap we saw there. Yeah. Dude, well, it was on HBO, so I seen the story on the actual TV. Yeah, I've seen this popping up all over my Facebook. So I'm real curious. Uh, what's to see. Uh, what's it? hold on? Let me look up. Do the we, we want to make again. guesses? What if they sealed the name? I'm gonna it? say it's it's gonna be higher, but it's gonna be depressingly small amount of. I think it's probably gonna be like forty two hundred. I don't even think it's that. I think it's three thousand. His name is a Alex Kasberg. Yeah. So let's Alex see where Kasberg. Alex, let's search Alex, Alex Kasberg. Alex Kasberg, if you're if you're listening, you know I know this is where you go for all your comedy Obviously. news analysis, Clearly. the Dirtbag Dan Garage. Yeah. Yo, uh, uh, Alex Variety uh, Hour. Alex Kasberg has uh, two thousand six hundred and ten followers. <laughs> 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 
No. Oh, oh shit. buddy, I'm that, sorry, that man. That just blew my point out of the water so hard. <laughs> wow. Is this? It, like, maybe so it's I not need to him, do this. Man. That's way more. Hold than on. That. Maybe it's I not him. Let's look at. Uh, we got to find the handle. I got to look at that. That. that That's uh, so fucking. At the depressing. very least, this is damn fine radio. Wait, what was his name again? Jim <laughs> 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 man. Oh uh, shit! Uh, I think it was. Oh wait, no, it was Alec. Uh, a different ghost. Oh, and ironically, when you guys were talking about Patton Oswalt, he's he's well, the guy they interviewed for this story because he's a character w- uh, witness for the defense. Oh, so shit. he actually couldn't comment on the case specifically, but he was just talking about. Oh, like, for the Conan right? Jokes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so is I guess he involved with the Conan room. Like, is he a? Maybe like he why, knows. The, why would he be? Yeah, the he's guy? probably friends with a guy or whatever. I would say Gosh. I, he's a great character reference for the defense. You know what I mean? He's like, a great character actor. I don't know if you guys saw a big fan. Yeah, of yeah, 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 I was a big yeah, fan yeah, of big yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me uh, I, right here. It'll say where where on his Look at Twitter. Conan. Just walk into his well, show. Well, it's not really Conan's leather fault. Jacket. No. no. Oh, so he, Casper. He's reading what's on there. Oh, man. It just says Casper's joke. It doesn't say his. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is that fucking Twitter, dude. It is hey, that one. It is that one, dude. What, what oh, was the no, number it at? It is that by one. 60. No, no, but what was the number at? Right here. Yeah. I don't know if it goes to the fucking. Well, pause, guys, use the pause <gasps> button and go full screen. Dude. It's so hard, bro. No, right, it's not. Hold on. You You're on a lot of drugs. Bang. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> You're not on. Podcast. No, 25. You went up like a fucking hundred followers. He got a, yeah. he got a hundred from a Vice News special. <laughs> <laughs> that's Damn, sad, that's bro. so depressing. Because you want to know, I, 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 tweet, I tweeted so, like you know, I tweet often about you know the topical things and my little pithy musings. The most Twitter <laughs> followers I've ever gotten is from tweeting about Andy Dick for 45 minutes, and I deleted it two hours later because I got like 50 in like two hours or something. Oh, you would have been a hero if you it's left like too those much. up. I know. I should have. Yeah, man, that's that's crazy. He's it's he, he's literally gotten no fame from this whatsoever. Damn, this, so I hope I, he gets the money. Then. I hope Shit. he gets the money. That's what I'm saying at well, this point. Maybe I like hope he gets in. the money because again, I want to know what writer fucked him over. And, and this is my the friend. hey, we're assuming he's some kind of writer and shit too. Well, he could I don't just be like, a guy with a Twitter account. This is such a sticky like, thing where it's like unless you fuck. unless you like subpoena that guy's laptop, the writer's yeah, laptop, yeah. and go through his search history. Like I I, I <laughs> that, really have no idea. I mean, this could go either way. Imagine I mean, if it was that simple though. They actually got the laptop, and it was clearly. I mean, on that does that seem like the day, only way like, you could really. Prove you'd have it. you'd have to. Yeah, but that's also like a kind of a creepy invasion of privacy to go to over like a weird like intellectual property dispute. Like, I don't well, know. Well, you heard the yeah. uh, you heard what they were saying. What the Tough. basis was for the case was that when the jokes were told versus when the tweets happened. Well, also the so that they were able to say that the tweets happened before the jokes and that they happened within like a matter of days. When they write you know the show. I mean? yeah, also, how know. many words were in the same exact order? It's like it's like uh, like a. Rip. Well, how many ways? Like it, when, when you find an efficient way to set up an idea in yeah. a joke. I mean, sometimes you shave it down to a point where it's like. It's kind of hard to beat that. Well, when you've you know? got 140 characters to work with, too, you're really well. Limited. Yeah, you've yeah, eliminated you know I mean. every word that was the fact. Well, and the, the a lot of times, yeah, we yeah, cre- yeah. we created a, a medium that really makes you write jokes like a late night writer writes jokes. So yeah. of course, late night writers are going to write jokes that are similar. And you're going to see, like, I, you'd always see on like local news, like like once every six months, like when there's fucking nothing going on, it'd be like, oh, if Craig Ferguson and uh, you know uh, to Conan had the same take on uh, blah 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 last night, and then they play the clip side by side and be like, well, they said it was an accident. Okay, well, it's today like you know like yeah, 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 yeah. this shit happens yeah and and i like i'm wondering how does this how do you find this guy's twitter you know if you're a writer for i mean this is a gold mine well, right you're like this is the guy you steal from you know do you have I'm a whole frankly, database they, they haven't been going to my twitter they're not all about common the islamic state all right i got a couple <laughs> gems you can... <laughs> a terrible president show stole your joke <laughs> that's oh that's not nice to say yeah <laughs> But uh, I've never even seen it. I have no opinion on it. But uh, and I I didn't even watch the clip to verify that was true. I just saw when <laughs> called me out, and I was like, this is not. I'm not gonna uh, pursue this. Like, yeah. best case scenario, I get suspicious and mad, and nothing comes from it. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> just let it die. What are you gonna do? Write an right, angry yeah. letter to it's the network real, we're trying to work for? Uh, well, yeah, like I don't. I want to make it very clear that I'm not accusing anyone of an intellectual property theft. It's yeah. just like <laughs> some shit that comes up in your life if you put thoughts out on the internet. Yeah. You know. If, and if Conan needs a less trackable uh, joke thief, I am glad to come work for him. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, I don't cover my work. You'll use synonyms. Yeah, no exactly. problem. Yeah, yeah, Keith has a thesaurus and a lot of free time. <laughs> I can mix it up. I was going to say, don't worry, because I don't think none of those people would be watching this. But apparently this kind of low rent shit is exactly where you steal your jokes from on the Internet. So 
Come on down uh, to uh, 3,000 views or less. Yeah, fucking A. That's 3,000 views. 3, views. All jokes <laughs> must go. Oh, All what jokes what must go, what is, what You is guys Conan? are in the 99 cents throw of opinions, right? What is Conan uh, going to yes. steal from the Dirtbag Dan uh, show? Who knows, exactly. baby? Who knows? He, he might uh, spin a bar, uh, Yeah, too. Conan did no, this great thing where the guy from CBS stole the fucking, like, battle rap. He does those stupid little oh, battle rap. Man. The shitty battle rap. You know what the, the actual The fat guy. The little fat guy. What's his name? James Corden. Yeah, you know what the truth of that shit is? Is that they pay the battle rappers to go write those. So, like, a lot of our friends and some of the ones like Sharon, the guy who's done, been to, done the roast battles. Yeah, yeah. There's another dude named Ron. Uh, yeah. They, they a lot of Ron's. A Ronin, a Japanese <laughs> samurai. Ron. Rice a Ron. But they, uh, uh, they go and write the battles for They'll like meet up with the celebrity. Some Kev Ron. <laughs> and I imagine that it's like. like Here, here's what's happened. It's gotten a little better because it used to be like Tony Danza doing rap. Well, like, here's Danza the thing. If I'm you just let celebrities say, like write dude, their own the raps, worst. like yeah. it, you would be like, well, this is going to ruin battle rap for everybody. Right. So for the love it's of God, just like get your own. Uh, no, it's just corny and weird. So it's funny to have like some stiff ass dude go up with like fucking bars. Be yeah. like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, well, it's when, like uh, when you see Martha Stewart at the roast and it's like, that's no, no. Well, when they write their own roast. Ann Coulter famously ditched the writers and wanted to do her own shit. She sure did. Just fucking ate a hot bag of dicks. Well, she's a big Trump fan. She went off Propter, and uh, <laughs> yeah, right, it was right, not right. good. Yeah, but uh, I still haven't watched that. I too, I feel too bad. I can't. I don't like seeing people bomb that bad. It's I'm uh, the type of person that if someone's like embarrassing on Jerry Springer, I'll change the channel. Like I can't watch this. I I, well, the Ed Coulter thing is not as bad as everyone said it was. It's just a bad set. But yeah. they, it was like just bad energy in the room. Well, yeah. when, well, well the problem <laughs> is they edit the they edit it in a terrible. way where it just looks like they're just screaming at her. And also yeah. it's like every new every media outlet was well, just she started, so excited to be like she started visibly shaking at one yeah, point. Yeah, she's like, extremely oh, yeah. like you're shaking. She just uh, eats a dick, but it's not But here's the thing, like Ann Coulter brutal, is like man. funnier than most people. Like I think she's like a, yeah. a horrible person, but yeah. she's like pretty quick with a wise crack if you yeah. see her. Not that most comedians, but then most like humans. Yeah, yeah. That's how we're going to promo the show by the way. We're going to take that sentence and cut it right there. Ann Coulter is not that. I'm the blue-eyed devil. Here it is. <laughs> Discuss your little you rhyming that feuds. Field protest oh, was canceled. Shit. Look, yeah, there's not. bad roasters on both sides. Yeah. You know, Look, when you said king of the dot, I thought there was going to be dipping dots here. <laughs> no, but going back, I mean, they they're definitely taking they're definitely taking the huh? battle rap shit and bringing it to. That I feel CBS like we glossed show. over my dipping dots joke. <laughs> that was <laughs> good. We that was go. fire. It we was a go. negative joke. I'm, I'm going. Go. I'm going back. I'm in my head. I'm like, man, we can edit this. We're don't worry. We're pre-recording. <laughs> this ain't. <laughs> <lying>. <laughs> he wrote. Down, I just saw him write down time codes. That's just. You son of a bitch. He's gonna be clipping dots. I'm just trying to give people something else to. It's back in. Shit on your channel yeah, besides yeah, yeah. your stuttering raps. I just <laughs> saved your bad joke with a good joke about your bad joke. Oh, what'd you do? Uh, you said he was going to edit it out, and I said it was clipping dots. I'm like, it's back in. And that, now we've done it twice. That's, like a, it. that's like a mediocre joke you were too proud of, like trying to save a joke that, that I did that's that was bad spot. on purpose. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah you it's get a sweet it. Spot. Yeah. It was one of those things where me for a week. it would have been good if it just sat by itself, but when you throw it back in there again, it just doesn't work. Now let's watch this. <laughs> Jeez, dirtbag is over this shit. We could just watch TV, dude. W V T. It's me. It's super you, bro. It's super you. Were you in Talladega like 12 years ago? <laughs> Not even. This is like last week. No, I mean to create this child. <laughs> He sounds like a Squid Billy's character. Dude, he definitely does listen to what he says, though. He's cold blooded. <laughs> what else? Kyle Berger, shut the fuck up. Can we acknowledge what a non uniform this man is wearing? <laughs> Chris Gaither. Uh. Like a. <laughs> Whose car is that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's his. Well, he one. doesn't like standing for extended periods. <laughs> He's got to lean. The local dealership gave him a car for shooting someone. The police have not said, the name of the and he started crying <laughs> like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I shot him again. <laughs> Fucked his wife. <laughs> no, the way they off my Celica. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, that's it, huh? Yeah, I shot that dog too. <laughs> Fuck! That look at that. That's the face of a killer right there. Cold blood. That is the face of a kid who ruins a hometown buffet for everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Is that, so is the guy dead? 
I, no, I don't think so. I think him he, put leg, him in, I he shot him in the leg. Oh, okay. I feel like that story changed. Well, I'll yeah, tell you what, though. Yeah, you could, you could so fucking hard. clip an artery in the leg with a full metal oh, jacket and wow. fucking kill somebody for also, sure. Also, it went on right why does to that back. child have a gun? <laughs> Bro, not, not, he has access. He knows how to load that well, fucking thing. I know it would be so funny to go to jail and be like, what happened to you? I got murked by a 12-year-old. Like a cool, no, you tough leave that 12 year old, now a fat one. You're like, I got shot by a redneck. You, you leave the 12 year old. God, out. They then they fucking... get your papers and find out. And then yeah, they catch you on the news. Oh, They're watching no. news in the break room, and that's when oh, you start getting the, the most shocking. On, and that's my shit. Burgers the most on. shocking thing about that video is that that tubby bitch had the audacity to wear a Nike shirt. Like he's ever played <laughs> Dude, a he, sport. He kind of looked awesome. Well, well you know, he had a Celica. He had not on my watch. No, it said not on my level. Okay. Oh shit. You just you imagine not on my watch because that's so appropriate for the story. Of a kid shooting I guess I something. did retconned that in my head. I like to think that his parents were like, "No, nah, it's gonna look badass if you put on the not on my level shirt." You know? <laughs> yeah, you stand in front of the, the car. Yeah, like, you stand yeah, in front of this, this ninety five Tercel. Like, yeah, Chester, we're, we're not wearing the I'm with stupid uh, one for the I shot an intruder interview. They're just gonna want to <laughs> break in and and hurt you again. So no, I get it. I, I know what that kid's doing, man. I do it all I the just time. Like uh, red wear neck track kid, suits. A redneck kid had a flat build hat. That's kind of a win. Try and give for off the culture for the culture. Like, where's a John Deere hat? You know, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's clearly what a culture neck. exactly? Yeah. Talladega. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he, was <laughs> he was perfectly. And the the newsman couldn't have found a better newsman for Talladega. Christy Berger with the Kyle fucking, Berger, and he looked like he was fucking ready to like uh, coach te- uh, tennis he, instructor or dude, something. He yeah, he, he was about in. to ask you if you were happy with your cell phone service. For like, sure. That's the whole look of that outfit. Yeah, yeah, he's like, well, I'm the only person here that's photogenic and has teeth, so I guess I'm talking to this little murderer. What happened, <laughs> yeah, buddy? Uh, can't can I just wear the out? suit? No, you're gonna wear the Best Buy uniform. You're gonna like it. Kyle Kyle Berger killing it in Talladega. Like they had to make their field piece like polo shirts out of like that weird breathable mesh because it's so shitty. Their state is missing in that whole thing the mug shot of the the perp. That would have been yeah, fun. Yeah, come on. Yeah, let me see the guy who got fun. shot by a child. Yeah, that would have been that fun. We need that. He's not in the hospital been, yet, man. No, I've also been doing an interview with the parents who gave that kid a gun. Yeah, for sure. I I, I want to talk. Yeah, I fucking taught him. I, he plays zombies he all the like, time. He looked I'm like, like your kid, people. too, a little bit. He did a little bit. He kind of looked like Yeah, I Yeah, uh, my, my buddy showed me my uh, his dad's gun when we were, like, 19, and I, he's like, you want to hold it? And I was like, yeah, yes. Want to play it. And it's completely the after-school special scene. Yeah. You ever see Deer Hunter? <laughs> that's that's twelve year old kids, all right, talking about the deer hunter. Dude, that kid looks so much more badass than you, Keith. Come on, I, he had the look of death in his. <laughs> what eyes. that fucking that, that old like, ham hock? No, that kid looked like that kid looked like he kills all the cats in that neighborhood. I'll fight no. that kid. Looks like the Mean Boys it's tour went through Talladega. Yeah, I'll about fight the shit out of that kid. Ago. Fucking slap that gun out of his <laughs> hand, then see who's real. <laughs> Set that shit. Well, he's got hollow. He's got fucking hollow tip bullets. And Middle, shit, no so. full metal jackets and a basset hound. So don't break into that house. Whatever, I, a, a basset hound. <laughs> All right, guys, that was fun. I can't uh, believe that Bassett outside didn't deter the intruder. <laughs> <laughs> Your joke, fucking, we have a lame dog. Fucking. Oh, dang, oh, no, uh, the softest dog. <laughs> we got chihuahuas, you better not break in here. And then there's just a fat kid with a gun ready to fucking <laughs> fire. <Send trash. laughs> <laughs> to me, a better story would be if he got distracted, like giving it tummy scratches, and he's like, oh, it's fine. Oh. That was a good boy. And then the kids just fucking sniped him from the fucking field. He wasn't even breaking in. He just stopped to pet the dog. That kid doesn't even live there. <laughs> so wait, hey, hey, hey Dan, so where do I go to piss? Oh man, uh, all right, let's go. Let's let's uh, <laughs> let's all go. No, you let's all you go together. You uh, you two bullshit. I'll what take him fuck? to piss. He's gonna then, pee with uh, you. I'm gonna hold this hand. No, I, just, I gotta put my dog away because my dog will bite the shit. Okay. Right. Do we want to just take five, or do you want us to keep going? Uh, we'll keep, I'll ask you about your tour you're doing right now. Cool. You guys man. are on a t- like. That's why they're out here. We're doing a show later tonight at a pizza factory. Yeah, we're doing. It's <laughs> called like Willow the- Glen Pizza. It's nowhere near Willow Glen. I, don't I like know what that you're acting doing. like it's retarded. Like it's not Dan's show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, some fucking pizza hey, place. What hey, a rinky dink hey. operation. No, no, it's cool. We did, uh, you were out before with Frank. Yeah, I came out with Frank a while back, and I uh, yeah I had a good time. So we wanted to set up another thing. Me and Connor, we've been going all around NorCal, so we. We did Fresno, uh, Rockland, uh, San Francisco, Ukiah. Uh, Ukiah, so you've made it is what you're saying. Oh, dude, yeah. You're here. I, uh, you're doing I had it. sex in a Motel 6 in Ukiah last night. I have, Making uh, more little Gunther babies. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm making a bunch of fucking Florida gunmen. You just drop off a fucking box of full metal shells. What's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're playing gay chicken. <laughs> playing gay chicken right now. No, yeah, but yeah, that was that was when I knew my career was going well. I'm like, all right, I've soiled the Motel Six. <laughs> <laughs> it's on like the levels in a yeah, town. Yeah. I so, uh, are you guys towards the end of the tour? What's going on? Yeah, tonight's the last night, actually. Oh shit, we're okay. going back to LA in the morning. This was a big finale. Yeah, the, all the, right. Uh, so you're, big... gonna let a, you're gonna let the freak flag fly tonight. Indeed, shit's gonna get fun. Just uh. 
No, it will be. <laughs> well, it's got it. I hope it is, man. Jesus. He's counting on it. Yeah. Oh. And then, oh, you're uh, back. Yeah, and then we're going back out on the road in October, I think. Okay, shit. Sick, yeah. man. So, what, um, so we were talking a little bit about how you guys like write for the show. Is that partly uh, to kind of keep flexing that shit for being a writer? Like, yeah. That's what you guys do, right? You want to be like a I writer? Mean, yeah, basically like, the idea was Stand-up comedy plus being in a writing room somewhere? Right, and the idea was kind of also like we like comedy and like a lot of podcasts end up just being like a hangout yeah right, a hangout right. which there's nothing wrong with that like you know it's well, fun but know. like we but we we don't do that we like you got to find a thing that makes your podcast unique yeah well we were podcast. like we like writing shit we're both writers so like why don't we just like challenge ourselves to write something treat it week? like a writing room and so now it's, yeah it's every week it's like okay i have to have these five jokes ready i have to have this sketch ready and it's you know we make a cool thing man well, if you you know, I mean, that's a job too. You get picked up in a writer's room, right? That's yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, so, so I mean, you're ready to go. You're already like, yeah, ah. and like I've applied for writing jobs, and it's like cool to be able to just like, all right, I already have a packet ready. Yeah, I've been writing yeah, fucking monologue it. jokes for a, a year. So well, and like, th- and if this show was, I just have to tell five jokes and write two sketches by myself, it would never happen. But by virtue of the fact that I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I can't let Keith down. Yeah, that's what know? I was gonna say. You guys got homework. And yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. Connor to yell. How, at how me. does that work? Do you, do you like meet up before? I mean, we no, live like, together, so we just kind of oh, shit. hang yeah, out yeah. all the time. Yeah, okay, well, it's, right. it's kind of a Lennon-McCartney <laughs> thing where it's the, we kind of collaborate slightly, but it's mostly we do it individually. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, gotcha. You know. Yeah, which I think works out well because we have very different uh, flavors, but they mix well together. Yeah, and sometimes, like, uh, more often than not with something I've written, Keith will, like, well, when he's doing the lines, would be like, you know, it'd be funnier, and I'm like, yeah, it probably would be. You, you know? do that, too, though. Very oh, rarely. So. Keith usually uh, usually uh, punches the shit up better. But, I mean, it's like, you know, it's it's like four four to eight hours of writing, two to four hours of editing. And, you know, it's like, it's a, it's kind of, I, I think it's, I feel like it's something more kind of new under the sun. Like, I don't really think there's another podcast that has yeah. a format like that. So, yeah, I mean, and that's cool. it. Just made, it's exciting. It's fun. It is cool when you're trying to pitch sure. it to somebody and you realize there's not an immediate, like, comparable thing. You yeah, because it's like the Joe Rogan show in space. Well, that's what we were saying, <laughs> yeah, too, yeah. is, like, uh, like most podcasts are just kick-it podcasts, and if you don't have, like, your unique angle on shit, then what's the what's going to make people listen to you? Right. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. We, yeah. Didn't, we didn't want to start another podcast. It's just a bunch of comedians talking about comedy. Yeah, Especially comedians sure, you never right. heard of, you know, because yeah. as interesting yeah. as I think yeah, I am. Yeah, like, because no, that podcast fuck. would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys talk about other shit, too. You're no, talk- I'm kidding. Well, no, they, yeah, you're talking, you're talking about the news. You're yeah, talking yeah, no, about yeah, battle yeah, rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does not matter. We have yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Name me one podcast that talks about the news, all right? I dare you. This is a unique show. Shows clips. Look, I'm trying to name YouTube that utilizes YouTube in that You name me one show that shares a bad through with some kind of weird well, underground say, hair yeah, salon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. A uh, little little material for no, anyone the, who's battle rapping the dir- uh, he, against the oh, retired, show. baby. No, but the Dirtbag Dan show brought anymore. like the oh, battle, really? yeah, the battle yeah, okay. people that you only saw in the battle shit up to this format right. hangout. So that kind of made sense. It worked. You Here's know how I mean? ghetto this but, setup is. There's literally shoes hanging from a telephone wire. Oh, above this our is an aesthetic choice. This is no, no, no. That's forget that. That's a DMT door. Yeah. Like oh yeah, you can the go, right sorry, amount of DMT what? you can go through that door. That's uh, that not door. a true thing that you just there's said. A, there's is there not a door right above you? There's a yeah, door okay. that you had lying around that yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to put into the right, rafters. I believe that there it's is a the door. It's the DMT there. door. I know how storage works. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what I was trying to say is that he has a uh, five pound pink plastic kettlebell yep. uh, next to his <laughs> Xbox, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I thought was a nice touch. Your boy got to get it in, man. Yeah, this is the most on brand garage. This shit don't take care of itself. Come on. For the viewing audience, his muscle just like flexed. And then, yeah, like, I like, I like, like, hey, the I like, I like the saying this, but their show's in a kitchen or some shit. Yeah, Isn't yeah, it no in a shit. kitchen? Yeah. And you know what? You have like Ken. Yeah, right before it's we started. It's a studio got, that no, used no, no, no. to be a kitchen. Right before like, we started, they're like, this is really nice, guys. This they is got, a nice they got, setup. <laughs> it is. We, 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 really, we, we got to get here at some point. It's not even stainless steel. It's like a Kenmore. Did you get at like the used appliance oh, place? Right. It's like $175. I'll have fridge. you know it's a shitty dining room, not a <laughs> shitty kitchen. <laughs> okay, but there you go. Yeah. We're it, shitty kitchen adjacent. It's all like adjacent. a studio kitchenette. Quite honestly. <laughs> like kind of bold. Well, I'll tell you yeah, what. We're, we're, we're like a bunch of fucking 12 year olds in a dick measuring contest. What right I want. <laughs> it's like I, nobody's doing great. No one wants to win this contest. <laughs> no, we're all yeah, in yeah, this yeah. together. The contest, nobody's no doing good. win. Yeah. But I, what I was going to say is that I was super impressed with your guys' Patreon. I'm respecting the fuck out of people's Patreons these days because I because re- I What's recognize pa- that that's like dude. As soon as two people that are on Patreon start talking, that's immediately what it, what we go to now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's it's like shit. Vietnam for old it's guys. Yeah, We're yeah, like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, we had so many money. cards to get declined in March. We couldn't afford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had to, I had to pay the bandwidth myself. It's uh, brutal. <laughs> shipping, shipping on 25 packages. It's not easy, guys. <laughs> 
but yeah, no, uh, that Patreon shit is, is saving the day for our channel. So I know it's it's definitely got an effect on your guys' podcast, right? Yeah, definitely. And it's like, you know, it's a lot of us invest in shit like this. Because, like, you know, I, I didn't think anybody listened to podcasts on YouTube. And then someone was like, no, everybody does. I'm like, all right, you guys are weird. But I guess I got to do that now. So yeah. we're going to, you know, get Has some cams and shit in there. Has it changed how you, like, approach a show at all? Like how you write or anything or just keep doing your shit? Not really. No. Not I mean, all. we try. I, I, we kind of decided when we launched it, we're, like, we're going to keep making the show that got us. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Cause I think if you try and like make it, we definitely try, try to like, make the shows a little more action packed. You know, like, well, it like, gets put, more work, right? Because you yeah. make promises. You know, people are invested, and then yeah, you're yeah. like, "Oh shit, I got it now." We now we got to do an but extra the only podcast. Thing different, a month only thing or, different that's happened here is like releasing the separate shows, right? Like that's only yeah. There hasn't been a major change, like well, or, or having only. that uh, exclusive content, right? Because what's the fuck? What is the point of like being a patron for it, if you're yeah. not going to get at least once a week some video that? other people don't have access to yeah so like for me that you can hold lord over your friends that you can lord over everybody like, oh look at this shit and i'll post like i'm a dick i'll post a 30 second clip of it on <laughs> on instagram oh, just so nice. you see oh if you want to see the whole thing you got to go to patreon you well know? we had we had the i was thought like this is going to be a big patreon driver is uh like on like the first second third very early episode uh someone was like someone should come on a picture of ramsey who's a, a, a guest of our show he used to be our producer and now he's just like a, he comes on here and there he's very funny and uh yeah so we just uh, you know we'd bring it up maybe once every 20 episodes <laughs> we'd be like yeah it's someone come on a picture of ramsey or whatever and then someone came on a picture of ramsey uh, <laughs> so we tricked just ramsey. a real hot watery load it's we, real bad uh, yeah we tricked him into watching it and then that was our patreon bonus uh, content for and that, that, that clip is on pornhub now like oh yeah you can watch it yeah. video are you writing this down you no this down? man that's, you don't, don't want to ever remember this in my life it's just <laughs> someone jizzing on computer paper you know <laughs> that's it, went from, it went from patreon to like some fucking like porno like, yeah we, we don't fuck around, we get dude. our money that we get our money all right don't, <laughs> don't disrespect my hustle okay yeah, how dare you shame dog right, right, and like right. fucking joke stealing y'all are gonna be suing me for fucking 60 bucks because <laughs> next week we're gonna be offering uh jizzed pictures of rory's face <laughs> <laughs> come on guys pledge now let's go all our five dollar patrons get a jizz picture of right, six hundred thousand. This is our NPR fucking. Uh, you get a tote bag that has a picture of the jizz <laughs> on it. Uh, so what's your guys' a scrub uh, bag, if you will? What's your <laughs> Patreon? Is it Patreon.com slash Mean Boys? Slash mean Boys. Yeah. Mean Boys. One word. Mean yep. Boys. Yep. So bang, it's on the screen right now. Bah. Whoa. The power of editing. <laughs> Unless <laughs> dirt bag gets too high to <laughs> do <laughs> <laughs> it. Daddy forget. It just puts up a big subtitle that says, "Put this in later." <laughs> <laughs> I your content, your text here. here. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say I'd never done that, guys, but it has definitely happened before. What? Uh, so, yeah, this has been fun. Uh, yeah, we, again, uh, let them know where to find you guys on uh, Twitter so they can steal your jokes. Uh, we're at Mean <laughs> Boys Podcast. Uh, I'm at, at Connor McSpadden. At cool. Keith Tells Jokes. Good, uh, right around, right around 3,000, 5,000 followers, just right where we can... I got about, I got, I got, I got like 36. Okay. I just jumped the Oof. door into 36. I don't so. know if you can steal those jokes. I got guys. like 2300. Yeah. 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 Holler at, at, holler at Keith. High profile. Holler at your boy Keith. And if you want to find my Twitter, you go on Keith's Twitter because it's easy to spell. And then you go on the Meme Boys and then you find me from there because I, I, just, I don't want to spell out my whole name for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mix bad. Okay. All right, and uh, this has been the Counterproductive Podcast. Again, thanks to all the patrons. Thanks, uh, yes. And thanks to everybody watching on YouTube. And... Uh, Dirtbag Dan Show every Monday night, 9 p.m. live. You bitch!